Hey guys, since the last video that you guys watched in regards to my first oil change and I was hoping that uh, with the Ceratic and the Lukumali 5W40 oil will actually solve the tapping noise that I keep having for the past few months and um, in the end it did lower the noise a little bit uh, I think the lubrication actually helped with the, the tapping noise which I thought it could be either the valve spring because my car is a 2014 model and Apparently there is no recall for it, no uh, valve spring recall, so I can't really actually go to Toyota and tell them to change it, which is absolutely, well for them it's bullshit, so anyways, um, I tried to do as much as possible, um, injector cleaner, carbon cleaner, uh, run 5% of uh, ethanol in the fuel tank, did the oil change, point seratic, seratic, Point Ceratec, Lucumali Ceratec, and for extra lubrication. Um, I think I also used the Lucumali lifter additive as well in, in, in the engine. And the noise is still there. So uh, the, the Cape Town, South African Cape Town Toyota Group, uh, one of the guys said, you know what, uh, let's do a preventative maintenance. Apparently, in, in the previous video that I did, I spoke about uh, a few guys that actually went and did the oil pickup, right? They removed the oil pickup because usually when you do oil change, it's just draining the oil. You don't even remove the oil pan. And it, even if the guys do re remove the oil pan, if there's any issue to it, they don't remove the oil pickup because they never thought that there would be anything there. So um, there's a few guys that actually did something where they, you know what, uh, remove the oil pickup and they found silicons so the next few clips that you're about to see is where i'm at the shop and the friend is helping me removing the 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 the, the headers the the oil pan and then the oil pickup as well and then you see there is shit inside which is absolutely disappointing from toyota because i don't know how they actually managed to get away from this get away with this kind of issue where there's quite a few guys running bearings and engine issues and funny noises and it's it's most probably from the silicon that's getting stuck in the in the engine and a few guys actually actually had this what oil starvation issues where there's so much silicon getting stuck in the pickup and then the oil is not going through the engine and at first i thought okay it could be the earlier models the 2012 2013 models uh might not happen to 2014 because i have no recall the engine has never been opened never been touched so we thought uh i might only get like one okay one or two which is still fine but then i realized oh shit, it's more than one and it's still quite a lot and i'm a 2014 so um for cars like 2015 upwards, the newest facelift model, 2017, 18, even the 2020 year model, um, I have a feeling there will still be some inside because they probably didn't really figure out how to solve this issue because they are, like one of the guys said, it's a mass production car. There will be a, a time where people apply too much to the car and then they just stuck it up somewhere in the engine not just the oil pan could be other sealants around the engine that's causing it to like burning and then falling into the engine and then get into the oil pan and it gets stuck by the pickup so yes uh you see the video i'll stop talking just watch it you see there's a lot of shit inside and see what you can do it's really recommended that you actually go and check your oil pickup for any further damage to the engine and i hope this clean will actually solve my bloody tapping noise. Be moving on the header. These two bolts here is always an issue. It's a shitty job, and it's all rust and the old <laughs> fucked up gas. There you are. Wow, that gasket is. That's fucked. It's fucked. Uh, you can see that you pause. Okay, you can see how you pause. Okay, so that's where I get the, the ticking and funny noises and uh, the popping and crackle yeah. from it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, it's been up already. Yeah, I'd rather change it as well. This is somewhere between Nilo's Dow and Nilo's. How is Nilo's? Nilo's up in the middle. Eight dog time. Yeah. Rather be safe then, sorry. It's 50, yeah. 50, yeah. You want to take Do you have extra? Yeah, no, I've got a guy that makes them for me. I've got extra. Uh, how many? Yeah, this this one is <laughs> You see, like I said, that, 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 that sauce that's all around your fucking sump. You think oil cooler will help? Yeah, for sure. And yeah, than... heat wrapping the headers. Yep, and that is a very thin pipe. Hmm. Any news? No shavings there. No shavings there. No shavings, okay. No, oh, it's okay. There's no shavings. Oh, there's it's not gold. Serrat tech. No silver. Really make it creamy. Yeah. Which I guess is a good thing, eh? It's a good loop. There's a lot of lubrication though. Yeah. No, there's no shaving. Good, 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 good. good. Yeah. Let's see another pickup. <sighs> Removing the pickup will pick up. Mother of God. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. What the fuck? Not not that bad, but there is still some shit inside. Uh, oh wow, okay, it's like a lot see of. See that that thing it goes. It's so thin it though. Goes like this and zoop. In your fucking. In your pump. Your pump. <laughs> yeah, the way you pull out that was scary. Yeah, it's easy. Luckily, it didn't go up. Yeah. Maybe it did. It's, easy, huh? it's so thin. It's like sticking out like a hair. Holy moly. That's a lot of pieces. Yeah. Some bigger ones are like stuck on the side and can burn. Jesus Christ. It's like small worms. Oh yeah, there's a few stuck inside, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a silicone. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, jeez. That black spots are all silicones. Yeah. yeah, the way you apply it, 
Makes sense. <laughs> they just squeeze it on, I think. Because what you're doing, you really make it flat so it doesn't really ooze out that much. You can imagine for them to do this takes them five minutes, where they just put it in two minutes. It's all about the production time. And it goes in the same time. This is this is what the gasket look like, eh? Huh? This, this, gasket, this gasket is pretty fucked. No wonder I'm making these funny noises in the engine. I thought the engine's blowing, but hey. Jesus. Busy cleaning it. Sending it down. Okay, so after this video that you see, there is silicon stuck in the oil pickup and it's now cleaned out. And um, the guys actually recommended that after cleaning this first initial clean, after this initial clean, it's recommended to drive the car for another few hundred Ks, maybe a thousand or two thousand kilometers, then come back and do a second oil pickup clean because there might be still silicon left inside the engine running around and it could have fallen through back to the oil pan and getting sucked to the uh, the steel net by the pickup that technically should clean out all the silicons that's stuck in the engine and um, i will give you guys an update in regards to to the tapping noise after driving a few thousand k's a few hundred after this change and yeah i'll let you know if that tapping noise is actually solved or not um but i have a feeling that it could have been solved and uh, the the overpipe gasket that was leaking it could be the leaking which is causing me to hear this uh tapping noise even louder than than expected so it could be that um, i hope that after the sealing that um new 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 gasket on on the overpipe it will solve that issue as well so yeah, uh, I hope you guys kind of like this information, informative video. It's not really anything special, but it's just a preventative maintenance that I recommend everyone do it with the Toyota 86. Uh, yes, um, there will be more special, special mods coming up for my car because I'm going to start modifying it. Um, what's going on next? What, what, what am I going to do? So subscribe to my channel. Click the like button and comment down below if you can and I'll try and answer as much as possible. Cheers.